To the uninitiated, this pile of motorcycle body and engine parts might just look like a load of old junk. Well, to be honest, a lot of it is. But in amongst the rusting write-offs, Vinod Sharma's expert eye can spot the glimmers of hope. Out of the hundreds of ancient motorbikes he travels all over India collecting, just a few are in good enough condition to form the basis of a beautiful restoration. The rest are ruthlessly cannibalised for parts to complete the jigsaw puzzle. The most difficult elements to find are engine parts. Not all the shining restorations that emerge from this process are entirely faithful to the original, and if you want to order something specific, you may have to wait a few months. But that doesn't deter enthusiasts from making the pilgrimage to this dusty Delhi backstreet in search of their own special piece of classic engineering. This man came all the way from Tokyo. Even in Japan, where Honda and Kawasaki rule the roost, there's a market for classic British bikes. The majority of these machines date back at least to the 1940s, which gives them a historical interest as well. Your bike may have been owned by a British officer in the Indian Army or some colonial adventurer seeking their fortune in the Raj. The British exodus after independence left behind a legacy of imported motorcycles which the locals gleefully snapped up and kept on the road for decades afterwards. So that now there's a treasure trove of badges forgotten in Europe by all but the faithful few such as BSA, Matchless, AJS, Royal Enfield, Aerial. Just to get to the Sharma Motorcycle Depot, you've got to find your way first through a maze of back streets in a working class area of Delhi. But for the true classic motorbike enthusiast, it's well worth the effort. The nostalgia trippers from around the world are being catered for by a hive of backstreet mechanics. Patiently, they search for original parts to plug the gaps in the bike they're rebuilding. If all else fails, they make it themselves. Once the mechanical parts have been tuned to perfection, the bodywork repainted and the chrome polished up, there's only one thing left to do. Return the old lady to the road, there to enjoy an Indian summer.